Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a deck reading in which I'm going to choose one of the following decks. We've got the Dolphins and Mermaids Oracle, we've got the Archangel Michael Oracle and we've got the Archangel Oracle deck and I just want you to focus and decide which of those three decks you feel drawn to. You can just choose from the colours, the vibration or the name of the decks and um, click on one of the links below the video and we'll see what your reading says and this is basically just whatever you need to hear right now at this moment. Okay, enjoy! Okay, so if you picked the Dolphins and Mermaids Oracle, what you need to hear at this moment is that you have done absolutely nothing wrong. There might be a situation in your life that you've been judging yourself for, that you've been really harsh with yourself about. How could I have let this happen? How could I have gotten myself into this situation? Or why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? Um, so this is, for you, this might be a time when all of the extremes in your life are actually being amplified. You're really seeing things as they are at the moment and for some it's not necessarily a great um, period. It might be a consequence of the dynamics of everything that's playing out at the moment. Um, the fact that at the point of doing this reading we're all very much forced into situations where we can't necessarily get out as much as we would normally. We're having to face things. We're not able to use the usual distractions or ways of escaping our situations, ways of denying the way things really are, not seeing things that we really need to see. And so those feelings are being amplified. If you've come to this particular reading, it might be that you're questioning yourself after a long period of um, difficulty and challenge that you haven't yet been able to find a way out of. So the cards surrounding that one are telling you to pay attention. Pay attention to signs that are being offered to you, solutions that are being shown to you, things that look like coincidences, but they're actually signs and synchronicities being sent to you by the universe, by your guides, things that your inner self, your inner knowing, your higher self are trying to show you, to guide you. And this period is a perfect time for you to see things as they really are, a perfect time for you to be honest with yourself and then to look around to ask for help first of all maybe in prayer or through chanting or meditation whatever you do according to your belief system and then notice when things are actually being shown to you and there are patterns and sequences in things around you that show you that yes okay this idea that you might have that could be a solution to help you to find a way out of this situation in the future when you're free to explore your options the clues that you're being shown could actually be a way out, a way forward. And you're being asked also to look at all possibilities, to expand your mind, to expand your consciousness, to not see a solution that's a one-size-fits-all solution. So in other words, whatever works for everyone in this situation is not necessarily what's going to work for you in this current situation. You might find that you have to employ tactics that are a little bit more complex or a little bit more creative. You might have to ask for help. You might have to um, summon up all your inner resources. You might have to meditate more to find uh, a deeper connection with the, the forces that are trying to guide you at the moment. But you're being asked to explore all your options. You're being asked to look in to the possibilities that you have in terms of your gifts, the things that you can offer to the world, the things that can help you to maybe elevate your status, elevate your um, economic situation so that you have more options in the practical reality. You're being asked to seek out assistance to heal your emotions, to widen the scope of your imagination so that you can start dreaming again in every way that you can possibly imagine. You're being asked to explore your options. So take the time that you you need to move beyond this period of self-recrimination and self-judgment and to actually look for possibility. Um, to quote Marie Forleo, everything is figureoutable. So we've got turquoise, awaken your empathy. So one of the reasons that you could be getting this card at the moment is that you need to 
connect with the empathy that you have in order to use it in service to not only yourself, possibly to others in the future. But at this time you're being asked to connect with your feelings, your true feelings, and to trust what they're guiding you towards. So if you feel a heaviness around certain people and situations, let that be something that tells you that you need to make a change in that area rather than seeing your empathy as a burden as something that makes you feel um, over overburdened by everybody else's feelings and emotions and the constraints that you find yourself in let that empathy be a guide so if you feel light and you feel good and positive around certain people or in certain situations or even when you have thoughts about certain plans and ideas and possibilities and projects let that guide you so let your sensitivity be a gift to you in terms of helping you to navigate your way out of a difficult situation or even just past a, a situation where you you're judging yourself or holding yourself back or limiting yourself see beyond this phase use your empathy to even help you to predict what's coming next beyond this um, difficult period that all of humanity is going through at the moment and uh, let that be the thing that pulls you forward okay group number one well um, dolphins and mermaids group I hope you enjoyed that reading and uh, thank you very much for listening bye Okay, so if you chose deck number two, if you chose the Archangel Oracle deck, the first thing that strikes me about this is that you've got cards that are quite focused on what you do rather than um, feeling. So apart from the compassion card, you've got creative writing, you've got career transition, you've got rejoice and laugh. So with creative writing, it's possible that you are a writer because it's the card that is right at the centre. And um, if you're not a writer, it's possible that it would just be really useful to you at the moment to start writing things down the way that you'd like to be, to, to express your feelings or to write affirmations. Um, it's actually interesting that you've got career transition right next to that. So it's possible that some of you will actually be writing plans for your next steps, your new career, your future career. It's possible that you'll actually be going through a transition as a result of having time to reflect. It's possible that you've realised that what you've been doing hasn't actually been the right path for you and up to now. And maybe it's time for you to start coming up with a new plan. For some of you, that will involve a career in writing because I keep being drawn back to that and I feel if you've come to this card it's something that you need to consider where does your career need to figure in more opportunities for you to be creative in all ways so you could be a writer you could be a copywriter you could be a songwriter you could be a poet you could be a blogger you could be someone who has to write material for YouTube videos or it could be any number of ways that you need to create something in order to tell a story. So this is really important. And what you've got below that, the energy card that I chose from the Secret Language of Colour is apricot, which is rejoice and laugh. So laughter, fun, creativity, letting go, allowing divine inspiration to come through are really important for you at the moment. They will be very important healing tools for you as well. And I feel that you're being asked if you came to this deck to dream your future, to start to create the future that you actually want to start to create a vision of a life that involves doing something that you find truly fulfilling. And if you have been a writer in the past, but you've been disillusioned by that, or you've tried to do something else to get away from it, something practical, you're being asked to return to your writing. It may, may be that you do other things as well, but if you've neglected your writing, it's time to pick that up again. And I've just heard the golden pen. So for some of you, it's spiritual writing. For some of you, it's very inspired writing. And there's a lot of orange and a lot of gold in this spread. So a lot of you will be, um, you will have the ability to channel and you'll certainly have the ability to manifest. You've also got the compassion card and that's also got a lot of gold in it. So you're being asked to really be gentle with yourself at the moment, to have compassion for yourself, to um, not be... Um, angry with yourself for the things that you haven't achieved so far, perhaps in a creative endeavour, because there's still time, there's still hope. And 
maybe for for those of you who've come to this pile the uh, the way to be compassionate towards yourself at the moment is to indulge your creativity a bit more so it could be that you're a writer but you don't feel the type of writing that you're doing at the moment is that creative and um you need to move away from you know take a break from copywriting or seo writing or whatever it is and write some poetry write a song um just do something that you find really enjoyable that liberates your soul that gives you that feeling of joy and laughter and celebration and freedom and liberation of your soul you know when we um, are in spirit and we're making our mind up about what we're going to contribute in this lifetime and how we're going to evolve spiritually I don't think an awful lot of us sit around deciding that we're going to write good copy it's more about expressing your soul and allowing the divine expression of your soul to uplift others and to bring you to a place of joy as well. And freedom and liberation, that keeps coming up. Those words for this group, freedom, joy and liberation are absolutely key. In fact, I'm hearing they will turn the key to something that you've been trying to open for a long time. So there's a lot of resistance within you perhaps to moving ahead on a particular path and it's possibly because you haven't figured out yet how to make it a joyful path and perhaps the key is to bring more creativity into that path okay i hope that's helped you group number two the archangel deck group and um thank you for listening okay and if you chose the archangel michael oracle deck this is a really interesting one and the thing that I'm being drawn to first of all is the grey from the Secret Language of Colour card. Learn to scan your body. So if you've come to this group you have got an energy management issue <laughs> that you need to deal with. So you need to be able to release lower energies, you need to be able to get very very clear about what your feelings are and what the feelings are of others around you. You need to make sure that it's your own feelings feelings you're feeling, your own thoughts you're thinking. You need to learn how to scan your body to know when there has been some kind of a trespass on your energy so that you can clear it so that you can then think and feel clearly your own feelings again and decide what will make you truly happy. So that that had to be said, first of all, it seems like one of the most important parts of this message, which makes me um, understand that your ability or inability to make a commitment at the moment is perhaps based on the idea that there are too many voices around you, too many different factors, too many different opinions and, and other people's ideas about what might be right for you. Or there's an awful lot of choice. There are an awful lot of decisions you have to make and you lose your clarity. You start out feeling very clear and then you lose your clarity maybe halfway through a task or on the way to begin a task. And you're being asked to make a commitment and it might help you to know that possibly one of the ways that you will be able to feel more committed long term is to make a regular practice of clearing your energy, clear your energy daily, two or three times a day if you have to. And um, there are tips and, and things that you can use to do that. If you want me to help you with that, let me know. And um, but, but the usual things that you use that you find very, very powerful will help you because the most important thing is intention. So you can do this on your own as long as you're aware that that's what you need to do. Okay, so you start out feeling very clear about something and then halfway through you feel muddled or you go to sleep feeling very clear and you wake up in the morning feeling demotivated. That that's a real sign that you're picking up other energies. And if you know that, then you know that you need to make a conscious effort to clear that. You also have some element of fear that's coming into play here. And obviously, whatever happens to us energetically is often reflecting what's going on inside us. So, you know, these things have to have an attraction point, don't they? So it's possible that you're attracting energies that are not necessarily productive because you do have some fear around moving forward, some fear around making a commitment. And you're being asked to decide that you want to be happy, decide that whatever has happened in the past the future can be different, that you can be happy 
and you're being asked to to talk to your angels to ask them to guide you ask them to keep your energy clear and ask them to help you to make a commitment to your future happiness to the happiness of those around you or those you will have an impact on into the future but most of all to make a commitment to yourself to be fully yourself to be fully here and to be completely happy rather than to be settling and, and staying in this place of limbo and confusion. I feel a lot of you are stuck in limbo. And that grey card makes me think of when we talk about grey areas. You know, you, you can't seem to come down on one side or the other. So you're being asked, and it's interesting that you've got this Archangel Michael deck that you've chosen. I'm drawn to his sword on the left in that card of uh, let go of fear. Let go of fear now. That sword is a sword that comes to strike away all that fear, to cut away all the cords that are keeping you stuck to the past or stuck in fear. And in the tarot, you know, angel tarot decks, usually Archangel Michael's um, suit is the suit of the swords. So it's interesting that you show that you chose this and that you've come to this point because there is a deep longing within you to cut away from the past, to cut away from fogginess and indecision and to make a clear step into the light of the future that would really make you happy, that would really be for your highest good. And you're being asked to do that because on the right, the card that's often the future position, you've got decide to be happy now. So I do see you moving out of this confusion. And perhaps for some of you, it will be as a result of clearing your energy daily and recognising that you're very sensitive and that you're very easily influenced and impacted by the energies around you. Okay, number three, I hope that's helped you. Thank you very much for listening. And um, if you do want my help, just uh, let me know. Look at the links below the video and um, uh, yeah, get in touch sometime. All right, take care. Bye.